We told you about a lawsuit filed naming a Clearwater foster family and nine child welfare agencies in the Bay Area of negligence and child abuse. Yeah, that lawsuit lists 17 men and three children who reported abuse inside Jackie and Gerald Logeman's home dating back to 1997. After our story aired last week, another man came forward saying he too had been abused while under the Logeman's foster care. Our Vanessa Ariza has been following the story from the beginning and sat down with another plaintiff in the case, as well as the Logeman's former attorneys. All of the defendants in this case have officially been served the lawsuit papers. That lawsuit is close to 700 pages. We reached out to all of them for a statement. They either directed us to their media representative or they said they do not comment on ongoing lawsuits or in DCF's case, they haven't responded at all. Now this all began back in January when nine boys were removed from the Logeman home. Clearwater Police, as well as DCF, began an investigation into reported wrongdoing. But as of this month, Clearwater Police, they have closed their investigation, saying they cannot corroborate claims of criminal conduct. As for DCF, they have not responded to our request when asked if they have closed the investigation on their end. Earlier today, we spoke with William Sheeler. He was in the Logeman home around 2007 to 2013 until he aged out. He decided to speak up and be part of the lawsuit after seeing our story last week. We also sat down and spoke with the Logeman's former attorney, Rick Escobar. I just, all I've ever wanted was a family, so I thought they were my family, Jackie and Jerry. And then when I got out of the home, I realized the stuff that they did was not right. What can you say? There are now 21 plaintiffs that are attached to this lawsuit. Right. Uh, another gentleman had come forward last week after seeing our report. What do you say to these plaintiffs who say, look, we don't know one another. You've got reports from 1997 all the way up until when these boys were removed in January. We all share the same story of the sexual abuse, malnutrition. We're not making this up. Well, they're, they're saying that they're not making it up, but you've got to wonder why in the world are they with one attorney? Why in the world did all these 21 individuals now just gravitate to one attorney? Listen, accusations based upon number mean nothing. Accusations backed by evidence, corroborating evidence, that means something. They all They're, have the same story, though. But they don't have any evidence. Now, because authorities could not find evidence to back any criminal wrongdoing, there are no charges, meaning there's no criminal case here. That lawsuit will be handled as a civil suit, and as a result, Escobar and Associates will no longer represent Logamins. The fight does continue on Adam Heck's side. He's the attorney for the plaintiffs. We, of course, are continuing to follow through with this story and speak with other people involved with the Logamins and foster children who were in the home. Back to you.